Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing something I haven't done in a while. We're doing a pearl pour, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, this is an 18 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in, and I have painted my sides and edges with the color of drips that I had left over. Um, so, let me show you the colors we're working with tonight because they're really, really pretty. I love these. The first one we have that I haven't used in a very long time, this is Folk Art Treasure Gold in the Green Gold. And it is beautiful. Such a pretty, mossy sort of green. Gorgeous stuff. My pouring medium is leftover from uh, the pearl I did that was inspired by Erica Hughes. And um, it's the uh, Golden Gel Gloss and Floetrol recipe. I think it's 25% gel gloss and 75% American Floetrol. And then I added water to thin it out. This is a smidge thicker than I'd like, but that's okay. So, very pretty stuff. This is the green gold from Folk Art Treasure Gold. Okay. Next we have, let's see, Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. One of my favorites. Happiness in a cup. Amazing. Okay. I love those two next to each other. And then we have this lovely over here. This is Amsterdam's turquoise green. Very pretty color. Gorgeous. Okay. Min minty freshness. <laughs> Not that green, but. <laughs> okay. And then we have Amsterdam, I'm oh, sorry. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, which is another one of my absolute favorite colors. I love this. It's just so pretty. Just gorgeousness. With that sparkle in there and that happy blue. Oh, oh. Love. Love, love, love. Okay. Then we are using my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. That was a big surprise. I haven't used it in a while. And then we have my other love, Amsterdam Bronze. <laughs> bronze Obsession. Yeah, gorgeous. And then I have a tub of Amsterdam Titanium White, which is what we're going to use to pour over everything else. And this one I have added a little bit of GAC 800, and this one has more Floetrol in it. I don't know exactly how much more Floetrol, but. You're working to get a consistency that doesn't sink and doesn't make a mound. So it just sort of melts into itself right there on the surface. Okay? So, what we're going to do, we're going to just have some fun. <laughs> uh, those chaos blowouts that I've been doing, I love that initial chaos of it, where you just pour your colors all over the place. I've done a pearl pour before, I think it was called In the Garden, and it was these beautiful pinks and oranges and purples and you know, it was just sort of this patchwork, sort of chaotic, all over the place. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to pour our white on top and we're going to tilt it out pretty fast. So, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? We're just going to pour this, so you might want to stay yep. wide, don't get too okay. close. We're just going to pour this in a few places. We're not putting a base coat down first. We're using our colors. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go in with some of this light turquoise green. Now this is just so much fun. I guess, you know, because when you're doing ring pours or straight pours or layering a cup, there's a lot of pressure in that sometimes. And this is just so free form. Just go where the paint takes you. You know? Well, let's use some of my amazing metallic cobalt. Like a sophisticated version of finger painting, which we all know you love. <laughs> hey. Nothing wrong with finger painting. Okay, let's use some of that green gold now. I'm gonna try to put this in the spots where there isn't any paint. Bronze. 
looks terrible now, doesn't it? <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tilt this around a little bit to kind of incorporate all of those little puddles into one big giant puddle. And sort of spread it around the canvas a bit. So that once we do put our white on, I actually think that looks really cool. Okay, so this part's going to go fast. We're going to pour the white on top and then we're going to tilt it quickly and then we're going to put it down and we're not going to touch it once we've tilted it because we want our cells to stay pretty and beautiful. So, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Pour a big, huge puddle of this and now we're going to tilt it out quick. that corner and back and that corner and back and then we're gonna go down off of this edge a lot of air bubbles in here that's okay we're gonna torch this we actually like the bubbles because they're gonna turn into cells for us So if I've done this how I think I was supposed to do it, we should have all of those colors popping through. See, that looks really pretty. Alrighty, I'm starting to get ourselves. There they are, Hello, beautiful things. Look how cool that is, I love it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look around, they got little gold and the bronze coming up. All right. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Definitely awesome sauce. Okay, let's torch this real quick. Okay, I love that. And I don't even mind that this part is a little bit more solid right in here. That's okay, that's perfectly all right with me. This is looking really cool, I'm very happy. What do you think, HOA? Oh yeah, kind of looks like Swiss cheese at the moment, but. Maybe moldy Swiss cheese, because <laughs> it's got the greens and blues in there. But I see the metallic cobalt, I see that beautiful green gold, I see the turquoise in the darker areas. This is really cool and I love these little like ghosty ones. I see some gold, very cool. I see some bronze. I like it. I like it a lot. That's very cool. So this is kind of like what's happening here is because our paints are thin we're making that initial puddle with all the colors and then when we take our white which is also thin and we put it on top and then we tilt it quickly we're stretching the white so thin that those other colors have a chance to pop through and come up from underneath which is pretty darn cool if you ask me <laughs> so this is awesome i do have a playlist with the other i think there's like three or four other pearl pours that i did that in the garden one is in there there's one that's got a blowout on there that's pretty cool. It's like a big flower. So I will link that for you up here. Up there, I think. And uh, you, you can go check those out. But this is a lot of fun. And sometimes if you, you just want to pour, you don't want to have a lot of like rules, this is awesome. This is a great way to, to have a good time and watch that chaotic magic happen. It's really neat. So this was fun. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm um, getting super, super excited. We leave for Fluid Art Boutique very soon. As a matter of fact, when you see this, I will probably already be there. And uh, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see you guys. I wish you guys could all come. And um, we're gonna have a great time. So we'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. That was really cool. Right on. So this kind of makes me really sad. <laughs> Unfortunately, a uh, canvas fell and landed right on this while it was still pretty wet. And I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. But other than that, the cell structure here is really pretty. So 
I have to do this one again. <laughs> Things happen to it, but those colors are gorgeous. Those cells are so pretty in there. I love that green gold. I love the metallic cobalt. This corner up here is so pretty. I was really bummed. <laughs> but I'll do this one again. And, uh, you know, I see the bronze, I see the gold, I see the turquoise. Yeah, unfortunately, though. You know, it could just be that way sometimes. So, anyways. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And like I said, I will do this again because there's some really, really cool stuff happening in here. That was a lot of fun. So, anyways. <laughs> hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.